A federal judge sounded off on President Joe Biden's Justice Department for trying to force his hand in a major immigration case. District Judge Drew Tipton, appointed by former President Donald Trump, issued an injunction recently saying the Biden administration couldn't use any of the new immigration rules it implemented when Biden took office. Tipton gave the DOJ a deadline to make an appeal of his ruling to a higher court before forcing the Biden administration to play by Trump's rules. Tipton smacked down the Biden administration again by ruling against the DOJ's motion to transfer the immigration policy case to a different court, adding that the administration's claim that the Republican-led states that sued had engaged in judge shopping that would erode public faith in the courts, the Washington Post reported. The court does not believe it is appropriate to transfer a case that is in the proper venue due to a speculative public perception of bias that conflicts with the federal defendant's own statements, Tipton wrote. But prior to that, Tipton told Adam Kirshner, a DOJ attorney, that he was not happy with the department for trying to force his hand, Politico reported. Tipton was furious after the DOJ seemingly threatened that it would seek emergency relief from an appeals court if Tipton had not acted on a request to stay last week's injunction. Whose idea was it to impose a deadline on the court? Tipton asked. This is the view of the United States, Kirshner said. I can't speak to internal deliberations. It shows the urgency that we have and the great irreparable harm posed by the injunction. Tipton kept on asking who at the Justice Department thought it was a good idea to give him a 2 p.m. deadline to make a decision. Whose idea was it, he said. Were you involved in it? President Biden got some more bad news this week as he continues to deal with a series of foreign and domestic situations that some see spiraling out of control. President Joe Biden's job performance rating has mostly held steady for more than a year and currently stands at 44% approve versus 56% disapprove in the latest Fox News national survey. That's net negative by 12 points. The last time that he received positive marks was September 2021, and that was by 1.50% to 49%, Fox News reported. Approval of the president hovers at a low point among several key voting groups, including women, 43% now versus 42% low, voters ages 45 plus, 41% versus 39% low, suburban voters, 41% versus 39% low, rural voters, 31% versus 30% low, and Democrats, 81% versus 78% low, Democratic men in particular. 79% versus 78% low. He's at a low mark of 41% approval among suburban women, the report added. The poll also found that a majority of voters do not approve of Biden's performance on these key issues, 53% disapprove on national security, 54% on foreign policy, 60% on border security, and 64% on his handling the economy. Biden's numbers cratered in the fall of 2021 after the Afghanistan withdrawal debacle and the onset of hyperinflation, said Republican pollster Darren Shaw, who conducts the Fox News poll with Democrat Chris Anderson. Since then, his approval has barely moved, despite a midterm election, economic ups and downs, and several legislative policy rollouts. According to the new Associated Press and ORC Center for Public Affairs Research poll, President Biden's approval rating has dropped to 38 percent, down from 45 percent in February and 41 percent in January. This puts his approval rating dangerously close to the lowest of his presidency when only 36 percent of people approved of his job performance in July 2021, as rising costs in gasoline, groceries, and other areas affected the nation. The economy is the most significant factor in the low approval rating of the Biden administration, according to the poll. Only around 25% of people believe that the national economy is doing well or that the country is on the right track. Other issues, such as national security and health care, are also being emphasized by the Biden administration. Not surprisingly, a majority of Republicans did not approve of Biden's job performance including his handling of the economy, 
while Democrats were more supportive. The poll indicated that 63% of Democrats approved of his handling of the economy, and 76% approved of his presidency.